Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to do Windows desktop application testing in Catalon Studio. And this is a new feature introduced in version 7.0 of Catalon Studio and this will be very easy and very interesting. I will go step by step and show you how you can do a testing on Windows desktop application. And before that, let me go to the Catalon website. I will go to catalon.com and also show you from where you can get this version. So as of now, at the time of recording this video, this is in beta version. So if I go to docs and if I go to Catalon Studio here and get started and go to what's new, you can see here we have the version 7.0 which is as of now in beta state. I will go here and here is a link to download. You can click here. It will take you to the GitHub page from where you can get the version 7 for your Windows operating system and then if you scroll down on this page we also have this link uh, here for Windows desktop if you go here you can see all the documentation for desktop app testing I will copy this link and provide in the notes and all these notes will be available to you in the notes section so this is the link you can see for documentation and here I will go to my Catalon Studio and this is version 7 and some new changes that you will see here is you can see on the main toolbar we now have these two new buttons or two new icons and this is for spy on windows and record windows action so in the same way like we had for web spy web and record web and we had for mobile spy mobile and record mobile in the same way now we have for windows and also if you go to the keywords browser here so if you go here you will now see under built-in keywords we have a option for windows keywords and if you go inside this we have all these sections application element number text utilities in the coming versions of Catalon Studio we may get some more keywords for Windows as of now all these keywords are available here so this is here also if you go to the run button so if you go here in the run button drop down again you will see a option for Windows is added here so you can run your test case on Windows application from here and then if you go to the main menu go to the project and go to settings and go to desired capabilities again you can see our option for windows is here from where you can add the desired capabilities for windows and if you go to the object repository and if you do a right click and say new object you will find a option for windows object although when you do a spy or recording all these objects will get generated automatically so you do not have to worry on that and i will show you in a moment how to do that so now uh, to do a recording you can open a new project or create a new project or open a uh, existing project and then create a new test case or you can directly start recording and now if you click on this button which is for record windows action so this is the button you can click here record windows action and then it brings up this windows rec action recorder window and here you can see we have this configuration i will show you what this means and here you can give the application file and you can browse and give the location of the application file here now for windows application file will mostly be an exe file for example if i go to browse and i will go to my uh, c windows system 32 folder where we have most of our inbuilt file exes inbuilt application exe for example if i search for calculator you can see the calculator.exe is here if i select this and say open it will come here and if i now click on start here it will try to start the application however it says connection refused so before you do a recording we have to do some setup and there are some prerequisites or some setup and i will show you what exactly you need to do first thing is we have to install winapp driver so winapp driver is the library used for 
doing testing or interacting with Windows application and in Catalan Studio we know we can do web testing and the library used is Selenium here we can do mobile testing the library used is Appium and similarly now for Windows the library used is WinApp driver now the first thing you have to install WinApp driver now there are two options if you go to Catalan Studio you will find a tools menu here and we have Windows option and we have the option to install WinApp drivers from here or you can go to the folder where your Catalan Studio 7.0 is located and then search for WinApp here and you will get a folder WinApp driver you can go inside this and here is the MSI file that you can click and do the installation in my case I will do go directly from Catalan Studio go to tools Windows install WinApp driver and this is the installation wizard click next and read the license agreement and then you can accept and say next and this is the default location C program files x86 Windows application driver I will keep it as it is and say next and install so this has installed the Windows application driver I will click on finish and now the next thing is before we can do testing we have to start the WinApp driver now to start WinApp driver you can go to the location of WinApp driver so in my case it is C program files x86 and we have this folder Windows application driver if you go inside this you will find a file windapdriver.exe so I will go to command line and start this using this file uh, one of the shortcuts is I will click on this address bar say CMD and press enter this will start command prompt on the same location and now I will say winapdriver.exe and press enter and here it says developer mode is not enabled so for that we need to enable the developer mode so this is the third thing enable developer mode in settings so I will click on this windows button and search for developer settings and it is here and I will click on developer mode and it says uh, turning on developer mode uh, has some security risk or harm your device so for now I'm for this recording I will turn it on and close this and now if I go back to my command prompt and start WinApp driver you can see now it is started and it is listening on port 4723 which is the default port now in case you face any issues you can also start command prompt as administrator and then start WinApp driver so let me see in my case I have started it here and now I will go back to my Catalan studio so this was the prerequisites now we will click on record windows action I will click here and I will browse to the application file so let me do it on a notepad and if you see on the documentation here it is shown on a notepad as well so I'm using a notepad and I will click on this start button and this should start the notepad application now I have also observed that the first time it takes some time if I go to the command line here and press enter it then goes to the next step and now it has opened the notepad also you can see this is the actual notepad application on my system and here is the screen view so you can work here if you click on any object it will get highlighted and it will get highlighted here and here we have the possible actions or step that you can do so for example I will uh, say double click so it will double click I will say switch to application so it will go back to the application so this should show me the application here that is here 
I can say switch to desktop. So this will capture all these actions. And then I want to go back to the application. I will say switch to application and it is here. So now it is here on the application. Uh, suppose I want to add some text. I will say set text and here I will say this is my first automation demo on Windows application using Catalon Studio and I say apply action and you can see it is also doing the same action on the application and then I will just say stop and I will say OK and I need to capture the object so I will create a new folder and I will say this is notepad objects and say OK and say OK so if you go to the object repository you can see all these objects are created also it um, it is asking me to create a new test case for this so let me create a new test case and say OK so it will create a new test case and you can see all these actions are recorded here if you go to the script mode of this test case here you can see the script mode here is the import statement for Windows and using this import you can now use this Windows class and then use any of the actions so this is the script mode also if you want to work on the script mode you can just say win and press control spacebar on your keyboard it will show you this Windows class and then you can use any of the actions for Windows so this is the script mode and now I can now run this so here step number three was browse the application file and start recording step number four was record action step number five was stop and save objects and then step number six is run and check execution so now I will go and on this run button we have a run drop down I will select Windows and this should run my test case and also if you see here on the command line you can see the logs so this is running the test case and that's it this is done everything is working fine and this is how you can do a testing on Windows application Windows desktop application using Catalon Studio now in the coming versions of Catalon Studio there will be some more features some new additions to Windows desktop application testing and we are eagerly waiting for that I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching